Right, today we're going to be building a crystal radio and I'm just going to run through some of the parts we're going to be using. Uh, first off, you need a piece of wood for the baseboard of the radio. You're going to need some enamelled copper wire or any single strand wire will do. You're going to need a piece of plastic pipe, that's going to be the former for the coil. This is actually the former from another crystal radio kit. Um, but any, any piece of plastic pipe or a piece of cardboard tube will do. You need a, a few little screws and washers. A crystal earphone. Um, you've got to use this type of earphone by the way. Um, the 8 ohm magnetic earphones, um, the sort of thing that uh, you use on a personal stereo, uh, you can't use those. It's got to be this type of crystal earpiece. You're going to need a diode, like that, a little signal diode, a variable capacitor for the tuning, that's a little knob to go in the capacitor, and uh, a screwdriver to put it all together with. Now there's various other sorts of parts you can use. Um, the variable capacitor, um, you can use one of the old style air spaced ones like this if you can find one in an old radio. You can experiment, use one of them. Um, for the aerial coil, you could use one of these, which is just salvaged from an old transistor radio. Um, obviously, the fat coil there, that's a long wave coil, and the thin coil is a medium wave coil. They usually have four wires coming out of them a red one, a green one, a black one, and a white one. Um, now, for our application, we want to use the black and the white wire if you use this type of coil. That gives you the, the main winding. Now, there's various types of diode. Um, this type of diode that you'll find in a power supply, that's no good, that won't work in a crystal radio. You've got to use um, an, an old OA81 diode or an OA91 diode or I think a 1M34 will work. But the little glass signal diodes, that's really the type you need. and we're going to screw it all together on this little baseboard and hopefully get a working radio out of it. We're just going to have a quick look at the circuit diagram for the radio. Uh, it's a very simple circuit. You don't really have to understand how the circuit works. As long as you lay it out like this on the baseboard, it should work fine. There's the coil there. There's the variable capacitor, just there. That's the symbol for the diode. There's the earphone and this symbol means an earth connection and that symbol there means the aerial or antenna. Like I say, don't worry about the circuit diagram too much, you've not really got to know how it functions, just that's how you've got to lay it out. Okay, we've wound the coil and you should end up with something looking a bit like that. You need something between 20 and 40 turns of wire around the coil and we made two little holes at each end just to put the wire through to stop it coming unravelled. Obviously the, the fewer turns you put on the coil, the higher the frequency, and the more turns of wire you put on the coil, the lower the frequency. So for instance if you wanted to listen to the short wave band, you'd probably put you know, far fewer turns on here, maybe only 10 or 15 turns. But for the medium wave band you can experiment anything between 20 and 50 turns of wire. Um, I've done about 30 there. and that, uh, that should be about right for the medium wave band. We're going to start by just putting the screws and the washers into the baseboard. Just loosely, like that. And then the idea is that the wires go underneath the washer, they're trapped underneath the washer, and that gives you your connection. This connection here, this is a connection between the diode and one wire of the earphone. So the top right in the circuit diagram, so I'll just tighten that up there. And that's the first connection there. I should say that the enamel wire 
on the coils. Don't forget to scrape off the enamel at the end of the wire so you get a good connection. So we'll carry on going round the circuit in that fashion with the screws and the washers and we'll make all the connections on the circuit diagram. OK, we've been round the circuit and we've made all the connections. As you can see, you only need three screws and three washers really. That connection there is between the diode and the earphone. Yeah. That connection is between the other end of the diode, the top of the capacitor and the top of the coil, which is there. That becomes the aerial connection, that one. And then the bottom connection, that's where the other end of the coil, the bottom of the capacitor and the other wire from the earphone connect, which is there. And that becomes your ground connection. So that circuit is now ready to go. All we've got to do is uh, finally just put the knob on the tuning capacitor there. And, uh, just put the screw in and tighten it up and then hopefully we can uh, connect it up to an aerial and ground connection and listen to a couple of stations. Right, I've connected the radio up and the green wire here is the aerial wire. It's a long wire aerial out into the garden, about 50 or 60 feet long. Black wire is the ground and I've connected it up to an audio amplifier so you can actually hear it. Uh, this is actually the radio playing in the background. Now just to prove that it's genuine, I found that I hadn't really put enough coils of wire on the aerial coil, so what I've done is I've taken a piece of ferrite here and by putting that into the coil there you are, you can see the stations come in, putting the ferrite in that changes the frequency and puts it back onto the medium wave band yeah. you can tune in other stations with it I'll just turn up the audio amplifier so you can hear it a bit better you can tune the radio by either turning the tuning control or by moving the ferrite rod. If you take the ferrite rod out completely you're really onto the short wave band and then as you move it in the medium wave station comes in. And uh, considering it's only a very simple crystal radio the, the quality is actually quite good. So there you go, that's a simple crystal radio.